Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do an EDC update for January. So listen up. If you don't like talking head guy talking and then showing knives later, you are welcome to click off this video. I love you anyway. You can watch all the other videos with the desktop view where I show stuff more. But this one's me talking a lot, okay? Just want to put that out there. I got some comments last time. Like, oh, show the EDC stuff. It's the EDC video. Welcome to my world, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, hey guys, those of you still here that I didn't run off. Um, I don't remember the last time I did one of these. I think it was November. I might have done December, but growing out the beard. If you guys watch the live streams, you'll know. But I'm growing out the beard. It's it's going pretty well. I gotta you know I gotta trim some stuff here and there and keep it in line. But um, it's happening. And I got the mustache thing down pretty good. It's not annoying me anymore, thanks to Javon and his conditioner tips and some trimmage, so it doesn't you know get all up in my lip when I'm eating and shit. So uh, EDC update. What is cracking? Um, I have a few Debo's on me because I uh, right now I'm balls deep in Debo stuff. We have four runs that are all finishing up at the same time. It's a little bit insane. Um, yeah, Chinese New Year's coming up, so they're trying to you know get all their runs out, which is fair. But did not expect them all to be done at once. Um, the Mash V2.5 and the Stout V2, we have the knives for both of those. We're just working through QC. Uh, today's the 24th of January. Um, so we're just working through QC on those. Uh, and we're waiting on the clips for the Stout V2. If you want information on that, I just posted a video the other day or yesterday uh, with a Devo update, specifically for Devo knives, talking about the Stout V2 and the MASH 2.5. So I don't wanna go crazy here, but anyway, I'm just balls deep in Debo stuff, so I have a couple on me, as well as a Jack Wolf. Um, what has changed? Well, the only thing that big that has changed is probably I'm like balls deep in flashlights. Now I'm balls deep in everything, baby. I just like them balls. <laughs> Let me say it again, balls deep. Um, I'm really down the rabbit hole with flashlights. I think the last uh, update, maybe it was December. I think I had already started the rabbit hole, but uh, I'm pretty far down. I have like 20 or 25 custom lights now, a bunch of other stuff, and I'm really enjoying it. It's just uh, a lot of you guys might be able to relate when you get into knives. It's so fun early on. It's a little overwhelming because there's so many knives and options. It's a little less so with flashlights, but it's awesome because you get to learn, right? Like, I didn't know what a worn cliff or a sheep's foot was or a clip point or a drop, point, right? Like I learned all that. I learned all the locks. I learned how bearings work. I learned how to disassemble knives. I learned, you know, I'm just getting into sharpening, which I'll show you a lefty EDC signature edge later. Uh, uh, my one and only. Um, but like, that part is so fun, right? And that's what I think hooks people in the knife world. And then as you go, because the knife world is very vast and there's a lot of new going on, right? Um, you stay in it and you, and you, you learn some more, you pick stuff up and you kind of just, there's a lot of new stuff coming out. So you're able to kind of stay in it. I'm noticing with flashlights, you kind of, just like I did with fidgets and just like I did with like tech stuff, you kind of just rip through everything and then you're kind of like, you know, what do I like? And, and you know, you start to fade out a little bit. I'm, I'm not on the fade yet with flashlights and uh, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna keep collecting them and buying them and whatever, but I, I don't know how far down this rabbit hole I can go unless I start like making them or like legitimately modding them with soldering and shit. Nobody wants to see me do that. I don't know if I want to do it either. So, you know, we'll see, but I'm loving it right now. And anyway, 
So that's new, right? Uh, the one I have on me today is pretty cool. This is a um, Magismo Flashlights Sun Drop. So basically, uh, if you watch my videos on Magismo, you'll know you basically buy the head and then you buy the body. Um, and you could put this body on different heads that he has and vice versa. And this one is the 16340 body. And then I have the Sun Drop head. And this one's really cool because it's just got like one giant circular hot spot. Um, it's a wild uh, hot spot. I mean, it's really, really cool how it works. And then I actually had a custom driver made for this. So there's a guy in Croatia called Tana, Tana Workshop, and he makes custom drivers for uh, Magismo flashlights. You can even send him your Haiku head and he'll put a triple emitter in there. But I got a uh, Dr. Jones driver on, uh, or engine from him. I'll show you. Dr. Jones driver right there. And so this now has a lot more output than it did before. Here's your 16340 flat, uh, battery. Drops right in the tube. And then you just screw this on. And I can swap the driver between two heads that I have. I might get another one or I will um, send my Haiku off to get the triple emitter installed. But I think I'm just going to get another one because I like the Haiku the way it is. Um, and this one's floody. So I don't really need the triple other than I like secondaries. But um, don't necessarily need that. But anyway, just a very cool head. Look at that. I mean, you can just see this big old LED down there. And the way the the glass is kind of domed, it just gives you that crazy flood, but all in one giant hot spot. Look at that. I mean, and it gets bright as shit now because I have the Dr. Jones <laughs> I have the Dr. Jones in there. So really like it. Cracked ice clip. Um, they are expensive. I mean, if you bought this as is with the standard driver, it's like 470. You could buy it for like 370 and then buy the driver from Tana and just skip the the Magismo driver which is still good but um and that would be like 370 plus another 150 or something so you'd be looking at like you know 520 all in for what I have right here um well worth it I mean the titanium's gorgeous uh it's probably the nicest finished titanium still that I've seen um he does such a good job on it and it doesn't wear as bad as other ones for some reason. He just has it down. Maybe adding all the ribbing and stuff helps um, keep it from scratching or something. But I love this flashlight. And uh, it has a Nichia 519A 4500K emitter, which is my favorite. So that's the flashlight um, knives. So I have my Stout V2 Lefty. This is the uh, lefty version with purple haze, fat carbon, and a belt satin. So you have a beautiful belt satin hollow grind, Vanex, super clean. And here is my sharpening story. So here's what it looks like with the uh, milled clip installed that we uh, developed so that it will fit in the wire clip slots. So you'll, you'll get the knife with a wire clip and then you can put this clip on, which we will include in the pouch. We're just waiting on the clips. Um, but it works really well. I mean, would I prefer, maybe we just had the two screw set up and just a mill clip, maybe at this point, but I do like the idea of having the wire clip for people. So um, yeah, but the action on these is just bananas. I mean, I put skiffs in here. They're, they're not even breaking in yet. I mean, I put them in yesterday. It is um, as tight as I could tighten this thing. There's no play, nothing at all. And it just choop, swings down. Um, and out of the box with the stock bearings and everything, it literally just falls. Um, it's pretty impressive. It has a uh, good detent. The few that I've handled so far, Colin is the one QCing all the stouts. So I don't have all of them. Um, they all feel great. They all feel dialed. Um, centering's been good. Um, that was me. I just slipped out. Yeah, the hole has a good uh, corner on it, so it's not too sharp, but it does 
catch your finger really well. Um, you can thumb roll, you can um, thumb flick, you can reverse flick, you can do all the good stuff. Uh, I wonder if you can do this move now that it's a lefty. Ah, nice. So, um, I got a box of stickers yesterday. And for some random reason, they've never done this before, they stapled the underside, like they stapled the box shut and then put their tape over it. So I couldn't tell there was staples under there. So I take my knife out and I go, and I just hear, and I look down, they're like copper staples or something. And I'm like, all right. So I look at the edge and I had a couple of like indents up here, right? A couple of chips or something. They weren't bad. I stropped it a couple of times and, and it was cutting again, but it, I could, I knew it was there. So it bugged me. So, you know, I'm like, fuck, I got to send this out to somebody to sharpen now because of this stupid box. Like, and you know what? It's my Stout V2 sample that I really, you know, I need to put this in videos and stuff. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to try to sharpen this. And I, I've had this uh, work sharp per professional precision adjust for like a year now. That work sharp was kind enough to send me. But I never got it out of the box because I just, it's, I just don't have time to sit there, set it up, sharpen. I didn't have the space at the old house. And, you know, I felt bad. I, obviously, I told WorkSharp that. I still did a video on it, like a short and everything, showing it. But I wasn't able to, like, use it. And so I'm like, fuck it. I got it out, set it up. And you can watch my shorts on it or my, my uh, Instagram reels first time first time using a sharpener like that i put a baller edge on this thing i mean the tip is still there the edge is uh perfect i did it at 20 degrees because i figured that would match the factory angle i probably should have just done 17 because i had to reprofile it anyway um, but anyway it is sticky as sharp um i really did no damage i thought i caught a corner but it looks like i escaped um i thought i caught the corner here I think it was on this side though um but it seems to have either blended in or not really been an issue i didn't tape the knife all i did was clamp it in i didn't put anything over that i just used their clamps and it, i mean dude literally Went through the progression. I knew a little bit because I had a TS Prof year, a couple years ago and I sharpened like one knife on that. But I had a little bit of knowledge that you have to lift at the end so the tip doesn't roll. You know, some of that. So I put Sharpie along the edge and I every time I flipped it, I, I put Sharpie and made sure. So, you know, I double checked the angle a couple times. So, you know, I had a little knowledge, but literally idiot proof. So I can highly recommend the WorkSharp Professional Precision Adjust now. Um, the fact that I was able to do that on my first try is, is really impressive to me. And the Vanex felt great, dude. Um, yeah, it felt nice and hard, that's what she said. Uh, and I really enjoyed sharpening, you know, now that I know that it worked, um, I am... I feel comfortable doing it. I think I would like doing it. Man, that hollow grind is so deep. Oh, such a good night. I can't wait to get these to you guys. So anyway, that's the ma uh, the Stout V2. Now I have the MASH V2.5. And I'm rocking the flamed tie with belt satin today because I am a flamer. Are you a flamer? Um, Look at that. I mean, absolutely beautiful. The action is sick. I mean, this is right out of the right out of the box. Woo! I got a little ting there. I feel like my car gets the best acoustics. But um, this one has satin collar, satin backspacer, black everything else on the hardware, black liner, belt satin, 154 CM steel. These will be like 150 bucks. 
on our website. Uh, you can use coupons, of course. So they'll be like 135 and you get titanium flame, baby, with a belt set. And I think it's a pretty good deal. Stoked on these. Really, uh, really loving what Kubi's been able to do for us um, in terms of price and everything, quality. Um, they really do a good job. This has a nice hollow grind on it as well, hand done hollow grind we paid a little more for the uh, belt satins um, I don't think we'll charge extra for them but um, you know we'll look at all that when we set up the drop man I love this flamed titanium I've always loved it from uh, Wii and uh, when I found out that Kubi does it I was like why why are we not using this flame titanium so we immediately asked for it on this. Uh, we also tried to do an Ultim one, but they, they, um, I forget what, it, they couldn't do, oh, we wanted Backspacer and Collars in Ultim on one of them. They weren't able to do that. Um, but uh, it's probably for the best. Anyway, that's the MASH V2.5 coming soon. Stoked on that. There's three other versions. Check out uh, my Instagram or that video yesterday and you'll see those versions. The other knife I have on me is the Jack Wolf Knives Sharpshooter Jack re-release. So this is a beautiful uh, Northwoods leatherwork slip that I just got. I'm breaking that puppy in. And you have Snowfire here. So this is Snowfire Fat Carbon, which is like lava flow with some white in it, which is really cool. Um, and then you have a S90V clip point blade with a hand satin. It's pretty sick on this, hand satin, look at that. You have a bigger sharpening choil. You have S90V versus M390. You have the triple fluted bolster up here. And you have the uh, long pull instead of the nail nick. And then obviously the finish differences. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, those are the differences between the V1 and V2 or whatever you wanna call it. Walk and talk is excellent. I would say it's just a hair stiffer than, uh, yeah, it's definitely like one point stiffer than the OG. And uh, yeah, they came out great. I'm happy for Jack Wolf. Uh, these have released. I'm a little late on this. So uh, if you guys wanna pick these up, I'll link what I can down below, but I'm sure you guys know already. Um, check them out. Great knife, you guys know the deal. Jack Wolf knives, killing it. I'm a fan, of course. And uh, yeah, those are the knives and the flashlight. And I think that's all I got on me, guys. I don't have any, you know, fidgets or anything. Um, I have my little pill container I've showed you guys a million times. I can link that if anybody's interested. It's a little, a little propane tank or milk container thing that holds pills very small i think it came in like three sizes though uh, and then on my keys i'm rocking the ultim county com uh whoop, quick release i love this thing from county com uh i just like how lightweight it is and it looks cool in ultim and they're like 10 bucks you can go to county com use my code lefty 10 and you'll be able to get a little discount on their stuff. They have a lot of cool stuff for affordable pricing. They also have titanium. Um, and then I have, of course, the JRW gear, their best product. Um, really the only one I've been interested in, the cash clip. This thing is unbelievable. Sorry, the uh, tough clip. Cash clip works too, but nice titanium carabiner. Um, and then I just got a thicker O-ring and put it on here just for safety purposes, but never had an issue. And then I have this from Ant Design. This is a tritium vial on my keychain, and I love this. I can spot my keys, you know, from a distance coming down the stairs or hanging on a hook or whatever, I can just spot my keys. It really is helpful. And I, you know, I carry my keys on my side hip or I toss them in a pocket like up here I don't carry them by my nutsack. Everybody's always like, watch your nuts with these. Like, I would have to break this and all that for it to be an issue. It's also inside of a tube and everything. So chill out, bro. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys are carrying. 
this month. Anything new for you guys? I'd love to hear it. Anything I should check out? Would love to hear it. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate all the support. You've been amazing. Um, it's been three years now. I've been on YouTube for three years. Uh, it feels insane to me. Uh, but it's been a crazy, awesome ride. Oh, we hit 20K. We hit 20,000 last month uh, or this month or whatever, uh, which is awesome. You know, I, I don't think I ever thought we'd hit 20K, really. I never thought we'd hit like one. <laughs> So thank you guys for all the support. Check out my links. There's a link tree down below. I've been meaning to do a video going over all the links. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in that. I, I know I, you know, promote links a lot. It's always stuff I, I actually think is good though. But if you guys would like to see that, I was thinking about doing like a, a stream yard recording where I go and share the screen and I go through all the links and talk about them. But um yeah, maybe I could do half and half or something, but yeah, that's it. I love you guys very much. Uh, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.